How many products should I launch my new multi-level marketing company with? Hi, I'm Robert Proctor. I've been involved in the network marketing industry for over 20 years. And in that time, I've been involved in the launch of over a thousand network marketing companies. Unfortunately, today, only 10% of them are still in business. I want to give you some tips and tools to avoid being a statistic in those 90% and be part of that 10%. You know, as you can see from behind me here, it doesn't matter what your product or service is, everything can be sold in a network marketing business opportunity. But I get a lot of clients that I consult with saying, we're going to launch with 20 products, 40 products, 50 products. They want to try to be everything to all people from the get-go. And in my opinion, that's not the way to do it. If you look at some of the most successful network marketing companies that have been around for years, look at Amway. Launched back in the 60s with orange soap. Today, yeah, they offer hundreds of products, but they launched with one product. Look at Herbalife. They launched with ingestible aloe vera juice. And today, over 40 years later, they're still in business with hundreds of products. Other companies recently, such as Organo Gold, launched with coffee, a real simple product. You know, Howard Schultz does really well with Starbucks. Organo Gold did really well with coffee. And yeah, then they expanded into other product opportunities. Another recent launch, uh, BK Barreco with uh, Body Pro, launched with one product. His previous companies had multiple products. He launched with one product and was doing millions of dollars successfully. So my suggestion to you, don't try to be everything to everyone right out of the gate. First of all, when your distributors join, if you offer just one product, what's the decision they have to make? It's just one product. If you offer 40 different products, how many decisions do they have to make? Up to 40 different decisions. Your customers, you're giving them 40 different decisions. What you want to do is build a really good base of customers, a really good base of distributors with one, maybe two products to launch with, and then yeah, add more products in as you go down the road. Uh, you'll see when it's the perfect time to add new products into your sales organization when people start asking for more products. Uh, hopefully you're manufacturing your products or providing them yourself, you're not outsourcing them. So I hope this little tip today helped. Launch your company with one or two products, one or two enrollment options. Make it simple, don't let it be confusing, and you're gonna get more customers, more distributors, and build that base. If you got value from this, do me a favor, like it, share it, let other people know, and hey, we'll see you on the next episode.